This is Business and Economy Network. Hello Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, those of you watching us, South Africa, Ghana, outside the shores of Nigeria, and those of you watching via the internet, wherever you are watching, it's an honor presenting this program. This is Business and Economy Network. My name still remains Peter Mochi. Indeed, an incisive edition we have for you today. The program is loaded and we have experts in the various sectors of the Nigerian economy to lend a voice on various happenings in the Nigerian industries in whole and how they can build the economy to make our economy great. Relax yourself, brace up, it's going to be an interesting watch. I'll be back after this time and don't touch that. Vecan Consult and Engineering Limited is a contracting uh, consulting company who, which uh, has intention of uh, bringing new technology to enhance uh, training in Nigeria, training via uh, new technology for construction. Our basic philosophy is to uh, create social housing and as well enhance uh, urban development. We specialize in real estate management, project management, engineering management and as well water tank technology management. We, all that, we also do other areas which we think will help aid housing in Nigeria, that's power, by bringing a technical partners who are doing business in the power industry. Because we discovered that power has been classified into generation, transmission and distribution. So our area in power has to do with consultancy and we have some technical partners from Sweden who are into power and also some from the Hungarian company, ITCC, who are also into power. Now, uh, Zvekan Consult is a, a local content-based company. Our philosophy is to bring in Nigerians, young individuals, young professionals, to come together, not to just look at the, 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 the oil industry and as well the government sector, but to bring in ideas and knowledge to enhance housing and as well power in Nigeria. We have done a lot in that area by uh, trying to bring in expatriate to help enhance uh, local content training. That's what we're basically is Vecan Consult Institute. Yes, our services are unique because we try to tailor the clients' budgets to what they have. We decide to target the low income earners and the beginners. But when we are developing social housing and housing development, you don't go for somebody that doesn't have the capacity and the capital. So if we want to give you a project, we'll tailor it according to your budgets. That's one. Then the design that we'll give to you is creative. We'll ensure that while you are doing your construction, our engineers are on site to supervise what you are doing at different phases and stages. And it's part of our unique selling points. We don't only believe in quantity, we believe in quality. Oh, uh, the project uh, executed and managed so far in Zvekan Consult and Engineering with part in partnership with our technical partners and numerous. Numerous and uh, one of the estates I'd like to start with is the, call, uh, the estate in Lagos and the one in Abuja. We have an upcoming project in Lagos, the Royal Palm Estate and the Folly Rain Estate in partnership with uh, Bama and Nisi Multi Links is one of the real estate, foremost uh, real estate develop developers in Lagos that has a wealth of experience. And it's a location well structured in Lakey Free Trade Zone, close to the airport at International Seaport. Our estate is also coming up there. And the, the other one is the following rain. We have a lot on our units that are, we have a design structurally meant for that. And uh, the uniqueness of those estates is what the proximity, the future plan of those environments are one of the advantages. Then come to Abuja, Environ. The major estate that we, have, we, have, we just opened up in Abuja is called the Crown Rivera Estate. Our belief is that everybody is entitled to a decent home, and that is what we are offering you at the Crown Rivera Estate. The Crown Rivera Estate is a classically designed, it's a beauty to, to, to hold on to, and it's a place worth rushing to because we started this project December, barely five months. The environment is gray area, but I'll show you by now, if you go there, things have started happening. That is one of the estates in Lagos. Now we make it easy for clients because our client base is not the high network individuals. Because we believe that the high network individuals already have a home 
and when they when they key into this project they won't stay there it's only the low income earners and the beginners that will get a house in a distant environment and they would like to live there but while the high income earners when they see these people coming in there they would like to come in too and that will help liberalize the, the, the mixture of the whole low income earners and the high income earners they can live together and work together that's why we decide to offer it with easy payment plan on that then the second estate is the one called uh, uh, Springview Maitama View Estate. The Springview Maitama Spring Estate is not just an estate for everybody, but it's an estate gated, gated and structurally designed for those that have the future plan of living in the proximity environment Abuja. My name is Ibrahim Tumba Yunusa. I'm from Adamawa State. I'm 37 years of age now. <clears throat> I completed my secondary school education in King's College, Lagos. I left there in 1993, after which I had a, took a BSc in architecture from University of Jos. I immediately proceeded to Reading University in the United Kingdom for my master's degree in construction management. Uh, today, I'd like to say I'm a professional construction manager, by the way. Okay, Ladis Gold Projects Limited is actually a construction build construction company <coughs> with the uh, ethos of design and build. We registered the company in 2006, so we're about eight years old now, and I've since uh, completed a series of projects. Our head office is in Abuja, and we are primarily uh, concentrated in project. We go after projects in uh, the Middle Belt region, I would say. Because, you know, in construction industry, you look at uh, logistics, moving your equipment around. So you try and focus your company in areas where you, you are based. So we cover uh, the uh, FCT, Plateau States, Niger States. I mean, uh, those are our primary areas of concentration. The skills are there and the people are there. It's the space to practice it that uh, we need to, to, to make room for. I, I know of many professional project managers and construction managers that can uh, compete with the best in the world, uh, you know, here. Both men and women, I mean, there's... Uh, professional there's a, in the last five years a lot of ladies flowing into our industry which we are very happy for because they bring a lot of management skills that a lot of men ordinarily don't possess so the skills are there but uh, the environment needs to be uh, more adequately cultivated to to make room for for, for them to practice properly The, the only problem, we, the challenges we are having is that the Ajakuta has not started working. Yeah. Because we so believe on them to be able to get uh, lamination. Yeah. That is the only problem we have. Copper is everywhere in the market. It is only the design of the lamination. If it's, if it's in place now, we have designed and give them expression on how to get the lamination. And that's why it's an easy thing to do. That's the you, the you yes. the professional. Yes, it's, okay. it's an easy to eat in, easy thing. Because uh, our customers, the PACN, they are, they are, they are enjoying our impact. We, always, we even give guarantee more than the new ones. Because we find out that a businessman will go to China, give them their own specification that does not suit Nigeria, Nigeria weather. So in so doing, and once they energize into the system, at times, you, by three months, you find out that it, it, it will give up, rupture and so on. Then we now introduce our own uh, insulation okay. to, that can withstand the, 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 our okay. environment here. And we stay more than 10 years, 15 years. And that is what they have been enjoying okay. so far. <laughs> you are very, very correct. You know, uh, transformer uh, business, it's a professional business. Yes. 
All these countries know more, know how to do it better. But the problem we are having is the corruption within the sector. Like, as I am now, if I'm really sincere to myself, I should go to the industry there, tell them the quality, quality. that I want. That is the only thing that is killing this country. Some, some of our traders insist on getting, making money, forgetting about the consequences that people are facing. You buy a transformer today, tomorrow you, it, it will fail. We're not enjoying it. But if Sun, if they are doing their job the way it's supposed to, they should have involved we that know more about it, that we are closer. We know the quality. We know what, even before opening the transformer, we know what is inside. Some of them will like go to that place, request for aluminium. Knowing fully well that aluminum will not withstand the weather here because of their selfish interest to make more gain and so on. So I can stand here and show you the kind of uh, copper, aluminums, windings and so on they brought to this country in, uh, in terms of making wealth. Um, earlier 80, 80s, there's all this company, Emu. They don't compromise their yeah, quality. quality. Elko, they don't compromise quality. You cannot even force them to 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 to, to reduce the quality. Um, Siemens those days are very good transformers. Now Schneider, they are they are good also, but they need to improve. Improve in the sense that we have not gotten to the stage that. We use transformer and throw it away. We are still growing yeah. in this country. We need to, like, once transformer has a little problem, you amend it and you start working again. Well, there is the only problem I found them. But I've talked with their, with their director mm -hmm. the day we met in Lagos, yes. and he promised. And now they are bringing the good ones now. So that is the, the only area we are having problem to uh, for for some to checkmate. The transformers are coming into this country, and again, I would like transformer dealers and, and the repairs to have their association, get one body, stay on under one umbrella, to be able to shake me all these things. Because it's not something so, uh, I will make noise. Tomorrow I will, uh, I will, I will go to my bed, and uh, this is continuous. We need to shout, bite, and make Nigerians people to know the difference between the original and the fake ones. Because uh, if you ask average Nigerian man, I will tell you, talking transformer are good. There's things we know about transformer. The winding, the copper, more oil. Because they recognize all these things to be able to make gain. Forgetting that uh, if they have chosekut aside there, it's coming down to contaminate the oil. And by the time you have a little quantity of oil, it will give room for the burning of the transformer so easily. But if you look at the Emo, Emo will stay more than 20 years in the circuit because they have a lot. The Fafara Gavir uh, transformer has about four, five drums oil inside it. You find out you take a long time for that transformer to contaminate, the oil to contaminate. But in this case of uh, transformer we have on ground now, most of Fafara Gavir do contain half drums of oil, on, uh, some one drum. How can they last? So that is the problem we are having, and they have been hammering on these things. Let Son go as with us, put us into this, uh, this their, their uh, monitoring uh, issue. So I will monitor these things for the benefit of uh, our children unborn, because this network is not for us. It's for the children unborn. We are not, do we are not doing something that will favor us today. Forget about tomorrow. We are doing something that can cover up. When our children grow, they will say, ah, our fathers, I've done well. So that is the area I want, go I want government to like put the, uh, yes, come in and fight. Design Age Consult Limited is an idea of various principal partners from the construction industry. Solely incorporated in the year 2000, 
by the firm's principal partner, architect Ibrahim Hamza. Design Age Consult Limited commenced operations as a small tonki project company known for delivering services in both consultancy and construction sector. However, organizational growth made the company to become more focused on the stuff they were actually made for, which is architectural consultancy. Yeah, um, Design Age Consult is actually, um, I actually gave birth to it. But it's a combination of some principal partners, my friend, and some, you know, other people from the construction industry. Now, we came up with Design Age after we finished school. And it was my own idea, because I started construction right from my university days. I, was, I had the privilege of being engaged by a few clans, relatives, and you know, people around me that saw my work right from the university and felt they can give me an opportunity. So immediately I finished my university in the 2000s at the beginning of the